Hey guys, CB Super. So the question was asked, how can I make a circle face cam instead of just the plain camera overlay that you might see in a lot of Twitch videos and whatnot? We can do this pretty simply inside of the Fusion page, but first we have to actually prepare our footage. So I don't actually have any gameplay footage. I don't really play video games anymore. So I'm just gonna use this helicopter footage and I'm just gonna turn the volume down a little bit on it. And I'm gonna pretend that this is gameplay footage and then I'll use this cam footage. Let's say this is the commentary that will go on top of it. So one of the first things you're gonna to need to do is if these two were taken at the same time, then you may want to come in here and sync these. Obviously these weren't taken at the same time, so I can't really sync them. You can just move them around so that it matches up or you can actually, if it was shot at the same time, you can just use the auto sync feature. Uh, I'm not gonna really go into that right now, but just know that it is possible to sync these. I'm just gonna pretend that these are synced and that this was all taken at the same time. And I am now going to combine these in order to turn this into a fusion clip. I wanna maintain this timing because even if it isn't taken at the same time, I did this commentary maybe after I had watched this video a couple times and I want everything to be talked about at the exact same time. The easiest way to do this is in the Fusion, so I need to make a Fusion comp with these two clips. I don't wanna make a Fusion comp of the actual audios. I wanna be able to maintain and mess with the audios later in order to get the perfect levels and whatnot. So I'm just gonna hold the Option or Alt key and I'm gonna select these two videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click. I'm gonna come up to New Fusion Clip. Now I've combined these two. You can't really tell because you only see one of the Fusion clips, but when I jump over to the Fusion page now, we'll notice that we have one media in the background and one media in the foreground. So the media in the background is actually this gameplay footage that we're using. And then the media in the foreground is this commentary footage or you know webcam footage, if you will. So in order to make this into a circle, we're gonna need to use an ellipse. Once I make the ellipse, you can see that this media has been masked out. We used a ellipse mask to mask it out and now it is superimposed on top of our background footage. And this is just the basic task of masking, but let's say we wanna actually be able to change how big this is, where it's located. Yes, you could use the merge, but I'm not going to use the merge. I'm just going to use a transform node after that second media. Now I can go ahead and take this and I can move this around anywhere. I can also resize it. Maybe I want it to be quite a bit smaller and I want this to be, let's say down here in the lower right portion of my video footage. So now when I jump back over into the edit tab, you'll notice that there is this red bar. This is the cache bar. You're gonna to wanna to wait until this bar turns from red to completely blue. Once it turns completely blue, you can go ahead and watch it in real time. All right, now that it's completely cached, I can go ahead and play this in real time. We'll see that the both videos are playing on top of each other and we'll pretend that these actually make sense. They don't, but let's say I'm giving commentary on this video game footage. All right, this has been a super quick tip on how to make a circle face cam for Twitch or YouTube streaming. I hope you guys got something out of this. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.